Well, mainlanders are a different animal again, right? <laughs> I mean, you get... The, I would say there are three types of mainlanders that, uh, that, that come my way. There are the very, very wealthy that want to be here so that they can effectively base themselves in Hong Kong, they can uh, be tax residents in Hong Kong, they can uh, become, permanent residents in, become permanent residents in due course, and they can go on to get a HKCR passport, which is a world-class travel document. Okay? And they can continue to manage and direct their affairs on the mainland without you know, too many hiccups. And culturally, it's a lot easier for them to do it out of Hong Kong than it is actually out of Singapore, for example. So that's one type of mainlander. The other type of mainlander is the highly educated, um, 30-ish, a little bit less than 30, who uh, realizes that there are limitations in the mainland for them professionally and commercially. And, and particularly if they've been educated overseas, they realize that Hong Kong is where they've really got to be based for them to accomplish everything that they feel that they're capable of accomplishing. So, that, so that's the second type. And the third type, frankly, is, is everybody else who has a little bit of money in, in China that, wants, that, that thinks they can use that little bit of money to come to Hong Kong. What they don't realize, and unfortunately, the, the army of immigration consultants north of our boundary that are feeding this rumor mill, what they don't realize is that the Hong Kong Immigration Department are wise to them. They know that if you've got a, uh, if you've got a factory with 50 people um, in uh, making shoes uh, and, and you've got you know, enough, kind of enough money on the face of it to come here and the programs, if you know how to work them, do exist to allow you to try, at least to try the maneuver of coming into Hong Kong. The Immigration Department are wise to it and they simply don't approve those types of cases. Uh, and, and this is one point that I think we'll discuss when you raise the question a little bit later on. It? The immigration department have their finger on the pulse of who comes in and who doesn't come in. And that's ultimately what is driving um, how Hong Kong immigration is experienced. What do the immigration department want?